So the Sports Cap Radio is very honored to welcome on as a guest today, international wrestling champion and viral sensation, Luigi Primo. Luigi. Oh, Luigi Primo. <laughs> and I make a best of pizza. <laughs> so Luigi, if you haven't seen the video, you're the only one. Uh, he recently went viral with this absolutely insane uh, tag team match. Uh, who, who exactly were you fighting against, Luigi? I was wrestling against the Aborn Haters, a tag team, who, as you can guess from the name, they were born to a hate of pizza. My <laughs> pizza. <laughs> so Luigi is from the Italian town of Austin, Texas. Um, now, how, how, long, uh, how long ago did you immigrate over from Austin, Texas to the U.S.? I came over from the old country to Austin, Texas, about seven years ago. And ever since that time, I've been not only a practicing my wrestling, but also practicing my pizza making as well. Okay. All right. All right. And so you make the pizza. You don't deliver the pizza, correct? No, I leave a delivery to the, the uh, lower lower stations, maybe people who are trying to uh, succeed in a band or, or a slam poetry or <laughs> some kind of visual art. <laughs> well, that's awesome, man. So so you're, you're, uh, you're basically your, your primary weapon – is you, you're you're tossing dough throughout the entire match, and I'm just curious. You know, I've, I I haven't seen this wrestling league before. Is, is that not considered a foreign object within that wrestling league? So so you would have think so, but uh, many refs they have uh, the perspective that the uh, pizza dough is an extension of uh, my body, which is uh, correct because to uh, be a good uh, pizza, you have to uh, make a good uh, pizza, which I try and embody every day of my life. Sometimes they give me a problem, in which case I can just throw it away and wrestle normally. That's a no problem. But <laughs> in the ideal circumstance, I'm using it to mystify and to distract my opponent, and then they take me lightly, and then I scoop them behind for the pin, and that's how I win the match. <laughs> <laughs> so, Luigi, you, you have a tagline, correct? What, what, what is your motto? Uh, my motto is... I'm a Luigi Primo, and I make a best of pizza every day here in the U.S. for all of my great fans worldwide. That's amazing. It's it's amazing that your your Primo or your uh, your motto is about making pizza, and not actually about wrestling. No, not not <laughs> at all. And some people say it's very long, but I will not a compromise. So that's why every time I come out to the ring, I say I'm a Luigi Primo from the USA, and I make a good pizza for all of my fans. Every day in my restaurant in the arena. Come on, let's go, <laughs> Derek. You got any questions? Yeah. So, would you consider yourself a pizza maker that wrestles, or a wrestler that makes pizza? You ask me a very excellent question, Derek. Uh, so, I, I really think the value that I bring to a, both the fields is that I can take my wrestling skills, such as a different holds and a slam, and I can take my pizza skills, such as a topping things and a kneading of things and a putting of things in the oven and a sort of a, a combining them together. So for instance, kneading the adult, that's how you start, all right? So what I do, I get my opponent down and I use a trapezius claw to sort of soften them up, okay? And then they get up, I slam them down, and then once the dough is nice and kneaded, I give them some of toppings, which is an elbow drop, or a Buddha Santon on their on their solar plexus. So now these pizzas are atop. Now you put it in the oven. And that's when I get on the atop rope and I give them a splash. And that should be the end. But if I have to take a one or more a step, I give them the a pizza cutter. Because that's the last thing you do to a good pizza. So for me, combining the a pizza making process with the wrestling is my one a sacrosanct art. And what I strive for. In a both disciplines. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, the so pizza good. place you actually work at, did they ever question why you're always showing up to work covered in sweat and blood? They had a lot of questions about that, and they also had a question about why I was wearing a wrestling a singlet because that very much uh, doesn't a pass a code. So they would <laughs> say, hey, go go put on a T-shirt and I put on a hairnet. And I would get them in a face lock, lift them up, uh, suplex them onto the counter, and they do the uh, uh, toppings. We made it a different kind of a pizza with, with them rather than making the Afuda pizza because they had a disrespect to me. 
So you're absolutely blowing up on Twitter. Um, everybody, it feels like, knows who you are. We shared your video. It has over 10 million views now. Um, and I've been seeing there's been some controversy stirring up. People really want you to fight this other wrestler. And I'm curious if you have anything to say about this or if you have any beef with this guy. Have you ever heard of the CPA? I have heard of the CPA. Uh, it stands for, a, what is it, a cheese, pepperoni, and a, a artichoke. Right, he's like a, that's what he that's his name because that's what he likes on his pizza. I think he, I think his wrestling shtick is that he's a accountant. Okay, so I, I, I was thinking the wrestling match between you and him it could be white collar versus blue collar or blue collar. Yeah, or or a no collar, frankly. <laughs> and uh, you know, I would have liked to wrestle him because I would like to see it because you know there's all kinds of a people in a wrestling, right. all different kinds of a people. You got a pizza chefs. You got a carpenters, you got a accountants, you got a plumbers, all the kinds of a different occupation of based wrestlers. <laughs> and I think a CPA would be a good to a wrestle because while we're a wrestling, I can be like, get him in a headlock and say, when do I declare my deductions for a 2022 for the assas? Do I have to do it separate? And then he'll push me off. And then maybe in between the moves, I can maybe get some tax advices because I'm not a good at filling out of my taxes. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to a filing of them. Occupation-based wrestler. I, I I absolutely love that. Now, um, how do you feel about Italian stereotypes? I tell, such as, such uh, as you know, just just uh, just uh, j Italian stereotypes. Like, say hypothetically, uh, a pizza maker that had a mustache mm -hmm. uh, who spoke in an Italian accent. Right. That's a great point. Well, I, what you're talking about is not actually a stereotype. What you're talking about is Italian a heritage. True. <laughs> True. So, you know, we have in Italy, we have a greater tradition of people with the mustaches who are piazziolos. Or sometimes they don't even make a pizza, but they still have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> it dates all the way back to a Roman times. If you look at the vases from a, from a BC in the time of the Caesars, you see a man, hey, much like me, in an apron with a spear, and he's got a mustache and on top of the spear is a is a circle of a pizza True. i saw that just today outside of my house and i think it was unearthed from the roman times and not a pizza box that someone had thrown away <laughs> so speaking of uh italian stereotypes mary fuck kill super mario george costanza or tony soprano okay so first of all i you know of in the uh I like how there's a kill part of that. Is the a kill part? Are, are you like a happy to a kill them, or is, is that's a that's bonus? A completely okay, up to you. Is it something like you, you have yeah, to? Do you want to take them out? Do you just want them not part of your life anymore? I like that's the idea you. that that's a bonus. Um, okay, so what do we got? We got Tony Soprano, Super Mario, and uh, and, and George Mario Costanza. Andretti, and George Costanza. Okay, okay. Uh, so Mary is Super Mario, one hundred percent. F George Costanza, kill Tony Soprano. I'm a sorry. Oh, that, I like it. Take care of Tony Soprano. He's the biggest threat. Definitely yeah, makes that's sense. That's right. If I don't want to get at him, he's going to get at me. Who <laughs> knows what? I mean, the laws of the mafia are inscrutable and cryptic. I had a great uncle who was killed for uh, running a numbers for the uh, mob in uh, New Jersey. He shaved. You know, it's expected you maybe shave a little bit off the top, just like a good Parmesan for a pizza. But he has shaved off it too much, and they caught him. And he was a kill. It's real. <laughs> so you 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 put a lot into your uh, into your not character, just who you are, which is Luigi Primo, the the genuine pizza making wrestler. Um, but I, I noticed you were wrestling around. I, I watched the entire match. We, we obviously only posted that clip. And Matt, the wrestler, you got to tell this guy he needs to get some other stick because Matt, the wrestler, he didn't really put much thought into that, huh? He just literally put his name and then the wrestler. Well, the thing about a Matt, the wrestler is he's a simple, a man <laughs> of the three of born haters. He is probably the one that I dislike at the least because he, he's a very happy and uh, he is content to adjust to be that that's where the name comes from because he, he, in his mind, why would you not adjust to tell people your name? Why change it to something different? Right. But uh, yeah. I, I, I feel bad sometimes. You see the video of me kicking him and then a twisting his neck. I thought they're kind of bad, but 
you know, mostly I felt good about it doing it. <laughs> now, this this uh, the wrestling match it was extremely entertaining. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Well, what what's the wrestling? What's the name of it again? The the, the place where you can find the video. Inspire AD. Inspire AD. That you you got to go check this out, folks. If if you haven't actually seen it, uh, at one point a guy's fingers fingers get trapped in a finger trap. Uh, there's a six person uh, headlock. <laughs> Um, and they even pause about 60 to 70 percent of the way through and actually start talking about their childhoods. Right. I um, think we, we all made a breakthrough in that in that section. You, you definitely that. seem like you did. It, you, you know, I think you I think I heard you say something about your father and, you know, really personal things like you're Luigi and you make a pizza. Right. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes the, the match is a struggle against your opponent, but it's also a struggle with yourself. And the more we look at inward and a grapple with our id and our egos and, you know, slam it down and a give it an elbow drop and a come on it from the top rope and give it the pizza cutter and make a pizza with our internal self, the more we will conceptualize and actualize our external selves. And that's how you make a good pizza with your psyche. <laughs> Luigi, the behavioral therapist. I, I love it, man. I absolutely love it. And where, where can people find you online? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Best Pizza Chef. You can find my merch page, LuigiPrimo.BigCartel.com. You can find me on Instagram, Luigi Primo PWR. And that's a that's a you can find me on Facebook, but it's not a great platform. So honestly, folks, just Google them. Uh, you'll you'll find them. You'll be able to find his Twitter page, his Instagram page, his Facebook page. <laughs> Actually, I'm very happy because uh, now if you if you Google search something like a pizza man wrestler or pizza man wrestling, number one was a bullet. <laughs> and that was really my ultimate goal, just to make sure I had a, that niche. You got I mean, you got shared by everybody. Uh, you were shared by Barstool Sports. I mean, I, I, it was just a absolute wildfire co across Twitter. Um, what was your favorite platform that actually shared you? Probably, probably Twitter, just because it got so crazy and the, the comments were just so out of control and just people saying all kinds of weird stuff, just like, hey, make it the pizza or this is what happens when your pizza is late. And I just like relished it all. The greatest um, technical what? wrestler of all time. I saw that one. That was my favorite one. <laughs> do you, okay. Do you know who Mike, Mikey Musumeki is? I don't think so. He's an MMA fighter uh, and he's on Instagram and he actually posted a repost of it. And none other than a Mark Zuckerberg commented on it. I thought that was oh God. I thought that was pretty weird. That's incredible. <laughs> That's insane, man. And I, I, uh, I actually commented. I was like, "Hey, Mark Zuckerberg, I'm making you a good pizza." And you know, he did answer. He's like, "Ah, Dad's a clown. Dad's a four of me." <laughs> so if you're you get home after a wrestling match, you're, you're tired, you're exhausted. What the what kind of pie are you throw in the oven to get your spirits back up? You know, after the match, I want to get a maximum of carbs. Honestly, I wanted some oil to hit me real fast. So I'm probably going to do like an oil base rather than a, a marinara. And I'm going to put a light mozzarella and a ricotta for some uh, extra protein. Because a ricotta with a low milk fat is actually a greater source of protein. Right. But Never. Hey, I think that, right? that's going to be good. I probably put it, you know, some red pepper, um, some red pepper, some, some salt, because it's going to be a very, very umami. And we want a little bit of a bite. Never, never pineapple. Uh, well, you know, we could put a pineapple on the pizza, but then we got to put it in the trash. Great answer, Luigi. Any any big uh, matches coming up? We have a huge following in Houston. Uh, I, I know you guys are in Texas, but any big oh. matches you want to you want to you want to announce? I, I actually will be in in Houston very soon. What's the I date? Will, the date for the Houston show. That I know what it is. It's going to be great. I'm going to be there. I'm going to. Be, I'm actually going to be making a pizza against a. Uh, I think a Charlie Haas. Oh. And that's a going to. And so he's a, probably going to hit me. Making a pizza hard. against. And Not uh, really, folks, making a pizza against. That's going to be on November a twelfth in a Houston, a Texas. All right, folks. Awesome. So definitely go check out Luigi. Uh, Luigi, any closing thoughts? Oh, also, there's going to be an Inspire show tomorrow in Austin, Texas, at a pinballs at Lakeside. My closing of thoughts would be, I never be afraid to make a good pizza because you never know who's going to want to eat the pizza. And I'm wise words. Wise words from a wise man. Thank you so much, Luigi. Ciao. <laughs>